This is day one after my Neeson fundoplication surgery. For the past two years, I've been having bad heartburn, uh, not to the point where I'm throwing up in my mouth or throwing up in my sleep, but I constantly have to take Zantac every single day. I take uh, my PPIs, whether if it's Nexium or um, Prilosec every single day. And taking those medications every single day, I'm 28 years old. I started taking them three years ago and really been struggling with the heartburn for the past two. And speaking with my doctor, she advised me that having um, knees and fundal application surgery would probably benefit me because continuing to take those medications over and over uh, for years and years and years can potentially cause liver damage. And, uh, and there's, I was reading articles recently that there are other things going on with the PPIs causing uh, uh, things to do with your heart and your blood and things like that. So just basically I always wanted to get off the pills. I didn't want to take a handful of pills for the rest of my life to have to get by and be able to eat food. I could drink, I would drink water and have heartburn uh, just with anything. So this is day one after my surgery. Um, significant pain in my abdomen. I'll show you my abdomen here in a moment. Um, my throat was pretty scratchy after the surgery from the breathing tube. They had to go down they had to put a dilator down your throat as well to, uh, dilate your esophagus when they do the wrap when they wrap your stomach around your esophagus also um, my uh, also had some significant pain from the catheter that they have put in so if you've never had one of those look forward to that that's uh, real fun your first urination after uh, hurts pretty good but um, I'm up walking around I have a um, some gas pain. Uh, they fill your abdomen up with gas and they have uh, I have a lot of gas pain in my shoulders and back. Uh, yesterday it was really hard to take a deep breath. Today I'm a little bit better. Let's see. Uh, I can get almost a full breath um, but it hurts just mainly because of the tightness and soreness of my stomach. Um, like I said I was in the hospital just for one night uh, as soon as after the surgery was over and I woke up, I was drinking clear fluids, water, um, and they were going down fine, no pain. Uh, and then I moved up to Jello, and uh, right now I have some applesauce that I'm eating. And there's a little tightness, but that's going to be normal because of the swelling that is around my esophagus. Uh, but it's it's not it's nothing painful. I don't know if you've been to the point where you've had the Bravo pH monitoring where they put that probe in your esophagus which I had it feels like a Dorito chip jammed in your esophagus for a week that was way more painful than as far as the swallowing goes uh, what I'm dealing with now but I'll show you my stomach real quick there it is only four incisions I uh, went through my belly button with the main camera and then three other incisions on my stomach. I have a little bit of swelling. Fortunate I'm, I've always tried to stay in good shape. I'm not overweight and I weigh 158 pounds, um, 5'9", normal size male, just struggle with uh, heartburn and indigestion. Um, I've been told that a lot of uh, overweight people have this surgery uh, so and, and that's and that's one thing that can cause a surgery to fail is gaining a lot of weight after the surgery um, But I'll, I'll eat some applesauce here so you can see me take a bite of Applesauce and I'll swallow There's a little little bit of tightness and then it makes it through I kinda get a, a small little burp after I eat or uh, or drink something just a small small little almost almost feels like a reflux 
but it's not. I haven't, I've had zero heartburn. Um, I've had zero reflux drinking or anything. I'm, I'm having the feeling of wanting to burp and, uh, and I, I was up, I was on my PPIs all the way up until the surgery yesterday. So now I'm off and so now my stomach, I'm sure acids are through the roof. And so I'm probably churning a lot more in there than I will be in two weeks off of them. My stomach will probably calm down a lot more and be producing way more gas and way more acid. So uh, that's what I'm dealing with now. It's day one. Uh, like I said, I'm moving around. Uh, it's difficult to get up and down. I would definitely, if you are considering having this surgery, uh, it, it is quite painful. I've been given uh, hydrocodone uh, elixir, which is the liquid, and then also the pills uh, to take as well. Um, so if you do have the surgery, don't be by yourself. Have a friend or a wife or mother or girlfriend or brother, someone to help you around the house, to help you up and down. Um, because it, it is very difficult to stand up because we use so much of our core strength um, to stand up and you don't you don't ever realize it until it's really sore so that's what it is that's what's going on now and uh, I will try to keep uh, you updated I will send up another post probably in a week and I do a week after so this is day one after doing okay pretty sore a lot of gas pressure, um, manageable with pain medication, and um, no weight loss yet because it's only been one day, but we'll see in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you guys later.